And I'm coming up to another session of fugitive hair dyeing in the public bathroom. Will it be here? Probably not. I try to put it off as long as I can. <laughs> fugitive hair dyeing. <laughs> I didn't kill my wife. All right. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Irene Iron Fitness. I'm Aaron and this is Christine. Hello. And we are getting ready this week, actually this morning, to leave our last thousand trails campsite on the Oregon coast. What and a joy Oregon has been for us. It has been great. We have absolutely loved Love. the coast. I mean, it's just been great. The only one factor that is now pushing us down into California is the weather. I can't handle this anymore. We're looking to find some 70s, 75, and uh, it's been great. We're really digging the thousand trails on the coast here. <clears throat> There's about four or five along the uh, the west coast here. Right on, a lot of these are like within minutes of the ocean. Yeah, right along 101, so it's a great coast drive. The state, yeah, the, drive the driving insane. that we've done in the state has been my favorite. We are headed to um, Northern California spring, Lake of the Spring RV park. Another, yeah, another toward Sacramento. Trail. Yeah, I think it's about an hour north of Sacramento. So we just upgraded to the big membership. So we're gonna be able to stay in the parks for 21 days back to back. And we're, we're really excited about that. We are very excited about that. We, we get a lot more done when we can spend a couple weeks in one spot and uh, and just kind of keep that routine going mm -hmm. it's all about routine yeah it's hard to get a routine when you're moving every four days but we also find that we want to move quite a bit yeah like we, we like get, it you get antsy you get antsy because you're living in a confined space you're in a confined park we don't do enough exploring and that's why we really like the the parks that have the ocean right next to us because then we can run or walk to the ocean and run on the ocean and really enjoy it. Along the coast we saw Pacific City, Oregon and we went to mm -hmm. the the largest like haystack on the coast over here. Fourth and, largest haystack in the world. Yeah we spent like a day at the brewery, Pelican, Pelican Brewery. Pelican Bay. Pelican Bay Brewery and uh, just to kind of like hang out in their parking lot and we needed Wi-Fi because our Falcon Trails did not have any cell service at all. So that was pretty cool. The sunsets were absolutely gorgeous there. There were surfers. We did a 10K on the beach. That was phenomenal. Uh, it was great. Yeah, we really liked it. It was great. So we're gonna get moving and uh, anything else? No, I'm really excited to see some uh, sequoias and some big trees, some redwoods. All right, Northern California, let's go. Well, we made it to California, finally. That was quite a drive last night. It was a long drive. Yeah, we went from Medford, Oregon to Oregon House, California, and we're at uh, Lake of the Springs RV Resort, and it's absolutely beautiful here. Our campsite backs up to a valley, and you can just see the, the vast view behind us, so we are very happy to be in California. In true Thousand Trails spirit, we felt like we were in the middle of nowhere last night. It was pitch black when we got in, and it felt like the boonies. Yeah. But now that it's daylight, it's really nice. Yep, absolutely. So we have a Ragnar race to run in about a month, so we need to keep practicing. So we're going to do a 10K here on the hills. It's about a half marathon per person, and we're not huge half marathoners or marathoners. We run 5Ks and maybe 10Ks at the most. So we're trying to pump some pump some miles in trail running too we, we have to get out and do some trails so absolutely so that's going to be fun um we're now like i said in california we're going to be here for a little bit making our way to arizona where we're going to go to the escapers 
um, annual bash in Lake Havasu where we get to play a role there and do some fitness and cooking um, seminars and we're looking forward to that. Yeah and it feels great to be in California. It's already like 10 degrees warmer and sunny and Oregon was just getting cold and miserable and our moods were being affected by it so we're a little bit further south and feeling good already. Yeah, I mean, we're just north of Sacramento, so we're still pretty north in California, but it's like 75, uh, I think it's gonna be 80 this week, so beautiful weather. Yeah. But we're gonna hit our 10K for the morning and then we gotta do our workout for the day and uh, we'll show you this campsite in this park a little bit. Yeah. Well, we just finished the 10K at this campsite. 6.5 miles. Yeah, just over 10K. And it was kind of a tough run. It was very, very hilly. Super hilly. Quads were on fire. This felt really good though. This campground is insane. It's really nice. Do you not love this? I think I counted like 16 deer on our run. Yeah. Like they're just nestled in and a, and a lot of little bucks, teenage bucks. Yeah, it was pretty crazy. This uh, I keep saying this, but this is my favorite thousand trails <laughs> ever. It's it's so cool. That's the great thing about this full timing. Like you just keep going to another thousand trails, and it's awesome. I mean, this look at this view behind. Look at the campsite we're sitting it's in. It's crazy right now. what a day can do because, um, like two. Oh, days, and the weather too. The weather two days ago, we were. Ser I was seriously like bordering depression. Aaron had to pull me off the ledge one day. <laughs> I'm like, I need to leave. We need to go to California. And here we are. Yeah. We're definitely like uh, children of the sunshine. Absolutely. Absolutely. So it's super hilly here. It's very, um, I don't know, desert-like dry. It reminds dry. me of Texas quite a bit. Yeah. So we've been, we've been juggling a little bit how to balance these runs in because we still prioritize weight training. And we like to lift for 45 to 60 minutes. So when you're running like this, you really, I can't do them back to back. I got to do them as two separate sessions. So I like to have a really little breakfast, run, and then eat something with some carbs so that I can lift good. So that's our plan for today. Working. We have really good service here, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. I might try to film a recipe today. Yeah, the only thing we don't have is a full hookup, but we're only here for four days, so... If you've seen our tank capacity video, you'll know that we can't last four days, so. Almost. <laughs> we can, uh, but we are right next to a bathroom, so uh, we can actually, if we use that a little bit, we can stretch it four days. Mm -hmm. We might do that. Yeah. Aaron peeked in there. He said that they're not too cringy. Sometimes the bathrooms are cringy. Sometimes they're not. So I actually use bathrooms to dye my hair. <laughs> and I, I feel like the fugitive when I do it. And I'm coming up to another session of fugitive hair dyeing in the public bathroom. Will it be here? Probably not. I try to put it off as long as I can. <laughs> fugitive hair dyeing. <laughs> I didn't kill my wife. <laughs> All right. <laughs> We're going to get the workout going. And um, I don't know. That's about it. We're just loving this campsite so far. It is great. And California is sunny and beautiful. Good weather, we got some good weather. All right, let's do it. Okay.
Well, we're just packing up and getting ready to go. We are leaving Lake of the Springs Thousand Trails Resort in Northern California. We were here for four days and... It was glorious. It was. This was the best resort we've been to in a long, 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 long time. Felt like home here. It was really good. So we... Uh, we got our workouts in, we got our uh, training for the Ragnar race. We found out a little bit more about that. That's going to be like three loops per person, like a total of 14 and a half miles of some pretty good elevation and terrain. So we're going to get our butts kicked there. Yeah. But it was fun here. It was really good. This was a place I would definitely want to spend like three weeks here for sure. The weather was really nice and the scenery is nice. We're overlooking the valley. And there's tons of little deer here. Deer came up and licked Aaron like three times. Yeah, it's kind of like the uh, um, Lake Medina in Texas, Thousand Trails. Have you ever seen that one before? And there they feed the deer like corn, which is kind of sad. And these um, deer look a lot healthier. Those deer there are scraggly looking. Yeah, these ones are eating like all the foliage and stuff around. So I don't think people feed them, but um, of course they probably do. I mean, they, sure they wouldn't be that tame, but they live and they deer. sleep like right outside. Oh, there's a big buck right there. Yeah, there's a huge buck right there. Um, I was going to flip it. Big buck. I mean, they like sleep right um, like outside of your camper. So you know as you like get out in the morning there's like seven deer that just pop up and kind of look at you funny and you know as we're running around like we're scaring them in the middle of the day and they come up like we're human salt licks and like yesterday he came up and started licking my salty leg yeah yeah pretty pretty cute um but uh we're getting ready to go to um yosemite lakes thousand trails and we're not going to make the same mistake we made at yellowstone um we pre-prepped for this one. Chris called all of our clients and got them aware of our lack of cell service. We've uploaded and pre-uploaded YouTube videos, so we're not trying to squeak by on horrible service. And uh, we're ready. We're going to go see um, Yosemite National Park and yeah. check that out. When I don't have good service, I get separation anxiety from my clients. Mm -hmm. I thought you were going to say separation anxiety from the internet. Well, it yeah. is, but the reason is because I can't communicate as quickly. Yeah. No, I get it. I actually, when we didn't prepare for it in Yellowstone, it was like, a, oh my God, what do we do? Yeah. Type of thing. So uh, it just ended up not ruining it, but making it not as fun as it, it probably should It brings it from been. a level 10 to like a level 7. But we're going to get into Yosemite and we're going to, you know, enjoy it and hike and enjoy the nature because we're caught up. So it's that fine balance that you got to make between work and play. And with us just starting our own business and getting into this full time RVing, we have way too much work and not enough play. And that's how, you know, we kind of just are. It's definitely like our weakness right now is scheduling and fun time. Yep. But that's just that's just what it is, and it uh, it'll get better and better, and it has gotten a lot better. So we're on like month nine right now, and you know it's gotten better and better and better each month. So yeah, things are looking good. We are excited. We're gonna have some uh, good times in Yosemite. We're meeting some friends there. We're excited about that. California's great. Weather's good, and we're gonna get rolling. Life is peachy. Let's go. See you in Yosemite. See you in see you in Yosemite. <laughs> See you in Yosemite. <laughs>